What about the um the the overall sound of the album? Um, I mean, it feels like everything you do is super fresh anyway. But how intentional were you with like how you wanted it to sound, or did you it just kind of let it be organic? Man, a little bit of both. Um, me and Aaron Robertson produced it, and Aaron's been a friend of mine for you know over fifteen years, and we've worked together on so many projects. And so I think just even us when we started pre-production of these songs, we're both kind of like just like locked in to like, this is what we both like, this is what we're drawn to. And this is kind of what we're gonna like press into. And so we, so I kind of knew from the start, like these are the sounds that I wanna go for. And this is like the overall like vibe of this project. Just even when I decided like, I wanna make this project with Aaron, you know, I kind of knew like where we were going. And then I think it's just surrounding myself. I've always been a big believer of like, I kind of have like a overall idea of like what I want it to sound like, but it's more so I'm going to surround myself with the types of players that I trust their sound or I trust like what they can bring. And, and I know that it's going to kind of, the pieces are going to fall into place because I, I trust the guys that I'm doing it with. And so every musician that was a part of this project, I just have a lot of love and respect for and just knew what they were going to bring to the table was going to elevate all the songs. I can't remember if I asked you last podcast or not, but I, if I did, I can't remember what you said, but what are like some <laughs> artists or groups, even secular that, that you, you just enjoy, like who are you fans of? Yeah. I mean, I'm fans of a lot. <laughs> Uh, you know, I love the Killers' new record. Um, I, th I think it's awesome. Um, I'm a big Hillsong fan. For, you know, anything like United does, like the People record, I thought was so inspiring and so special from a songwriting perspective. But then, uh, obviously, like from the sonics of how they sound is just like really amazing. Um, yeah, I really, you know, there's this uh, rapper out of Houston, Toby. Uh, Nwigwe that's doing some amazing stuff this year that's like everything he's releasing is like it's like something I've never heard before <laughs> and it's like really amazing um, so it's kind of all over the place you know from worship to you know rock bands to hip-hop I like it all if you could go on tour with any non-living musician who would you want to go on tour with they have to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> There's a morbid twist there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Dang. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and it's like a, like, it's like a worship. I, I, it's not worship. Just like <laughs> your, your favorite non-living artist. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they would, I would say that they're my favorite non-living artists, but I think like to go on tour with Keith Green would be pretty, fantastic and would probably be life-changing yeah man people don't talk about him that much anymore <laughs> he was awesome songs no i don't have any i mean i i like his songs I just, but i've never done them i don't think that'd be dope to like remake one make yeah it so 